Nothing but that tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key. There. That should work. Now, to try the door. Finally. Now, find what lies with it. be here. What is this place? Time to take a dive. Icarus! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible! I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. 
Pythagoras. That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century, if memory serves. And yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Mirini, my mother, she sent me here to find you. Mirini, she sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers! There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. Why should I help you? You were never there for me. You endured what you had to in order to be strong enough for what's to come. I never asked for any of this. Our destiny's a burden we must shoulder. It is not something we choose. What would you have me do? The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back, but I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viodia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious! We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus! Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Abstabo. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. Monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said that assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People!
I'm gonna miss the London loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kiyoshi, are you all right? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? What I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes. By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are amazing. Think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the ancient ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? 
This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. recording was supposed to be about the Spear of Leonidas, but you know what a spear is. Humans have been killing each other with them for over a hundred thousand years. I'm afraid precursor interference is behind this. A corruption in biological programming. Technological artifacts merging with flesh to create monstrous hybrids. Greeks wrote about what would later be called mythical beings, but in this reality, some of them are more than mythical. I shouldn't be surprised. My fellow precursors love being treated like gods. Why not create pets worthy of that reputation? In the staff you call the staff of Edmistus Megistus, it's essentially a staff like any other. It's a support, a potential weapon, and a symbol of power. It took precursor ambition to make such simple concepts into artifacts powerful enough to threaten two entire civilizations. Bravo us! The precursors were proud of this monstrosity. They wanted it to be an indestructible repository of their knowledge. It was supposed to be a reference point for simulating new universes. But how can they make a better future if they won't acknowledge their past mistakes? supposed to listen and be impressed by the precursor monument around you. They want you to make sure you remember this island, no matter how often it was renamed Thera Calista Atlantis. At least one of the worst influences is gone in my present, anyway. Juno's power was immense. I never would have been able to transmit these recordings if she was still here. People have tried to manipulate humans to their own ends. I'm sorry some of them have been so successful. Precursor sites have often included an educational mandate aimed at humans. I'm sure you already realize these generous revelations are strategic.
there's much to do, and many unknowns on the horizon. The lair of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, Amistios! What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Yotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I'll find your apprentice, and recover the amulet piece without any trouble at all. Thank you. The gods have truly blessed me by sending you to help find Pivos. Where was your apprentice heading? We heard rumors of a sighting near the tomb of many calves in Viotia. What was Pibos looking for? There was a cave discovered that might contain items of great significance. I sent him to validate the claims before I made the journey myself. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Pibos. This must be Pibos, or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the amulet. Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! The statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? What are you? The Sphinx. The guardian of truth and knowledge. Why are you here? The gods sent me to protect something, and I've been its guardian ever since. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. Some try to hide, some try to cheat. But time will show we always will meet. Try as you might to guess my name. I promise you'll know when you I do claim. Death. Well done, mortal. As small as your thumb, I am light in the air. You may hear me before you see me, but trust that I'm there. A hummingbird. Hmm. How clever you are. What can run but never walks? Has a mouth but never talks? 
has a head but never weeps, has a bed but never sleeps. A river. That could be. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. Bevoglis can lead us all to meet the gods. What seems to be the problem? Bevoglis be praised, Amistheus! I've done nothing wrong, yet these priestesses mean me harm. Please, my god is powerful and rich! His god is a Malaka, a blasphemous blight on Aphrodite's hallowed soil. This is a matter for priestesses alone. You said, bitch? Indeed. Empedocles rewards those who come to his call. These priestesses have imprisoned him in the fort. He's a god. He doesn't sound like much of a god to me. How could you? You can't keep a god bound. And anyone who tried would die in the attempt. Empedocles is not that kind of god. He is no god at all. Your words are an affront to the will of Aphrodite. If these priestesses speak for Aphrodite, then I speak for all three slobbering heads of Cerberus. Time to go save a god, apparently. Do as you will, Mistios. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. I'll be fine. Is there anything else you need to know? Where can I find this god of yours? They have him locked in a cage in Scandia Bay with the livestock. This would be shameful for any regular god, and more so for a vegetarian god. Does he stand out in any way? There may be more than one prisoner. The guards stripped him naked. And when you are confronted with his gift, Embedoglis' godly nature will be hard to deny. His gift? Let's just say you'll know it when you see it. I know all I need. Your Embedocles will be freed. Do not worry for my safety, Mistios. It is Embedocles who needs your He's over there.
There's the Murex fort. They'll keep a sharp watch here. Do you see, feeble Cubans? I, the great Empedocles, cannot be caged. Worship me. And I offer you an audience with the gods. Put down your blades. I offer those who follow me an audience with the brothers and sisters. The gods. Gods cannot lead. So, so you must put down your blades. Do not stop my look upon my four mortals. Regard my godly gifts. No need to thank me for your rescue. Your drachmi is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience! Meet me by my personal statue, so we may continue. We worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me. And I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the Pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Empedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Githira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mystios, but I believe there's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get to help a god? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A oh, god never needs help. But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. 
They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. This disc? Praise me and all my glorious glory. Yes, this is the disc. Only a god such as I could be so fortunate. Soon I will set sail for the Gulf of Corinth with my followers. Find us there and you will meet the gods for yourself. Perhaps you are ready now. The gods, of course, wait for no man. This should be interesting. That, my dear Mistios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you. Ares demands your audience. That's a big promise. You doubt me? I doubt you could get us to the ocean. It's behind you, by the way. How dare you mock! I... I'm a god! A god! What am I? Uh, a god? Thanks for clearing that. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? Wouldn't miss it. <laughs>